Hi guys, you're on VRIM24.com and today we'll assemble the smartphone Xiaomi Poco C40. At the very beginning, we need to remove the card tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined tray for SIM cards and memory cards. And then we move on to removing the back cover. First, we use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the back cover and the display frame and carefully detach a few clips. After that, we can use a thicker tool. We run the tool along the edge to detach the back cover. We always have to be careful on the corners because there the cover is held specially tight and we also need to be careful around the side buttons because they are physically located there. And we open the back cover. On the cover are the antenna contact pads. After that, we need to unscrew the screws at the top. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or HSTO. If the screws do not come out well, we can additionally use a magnetizer. If the screws get stuck, we can use tweezers to carefully remove the screws. And we move on to detaching the cover. We have to be careful not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable. We have removed the cover and with a non-metal tool, we disconnect the battery connector. And we disconnect the connector and remove the fingerprint sensor cable. Then we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. For this, we use the same Phillips screwdriver. It looks like all the screws are the same, but we still recommend placing them in a certain order just in case. And we can detach the cover with a loudspeaker. To find the right and convenient place to pry the cover off, gently hook the cover and lift it up. The loudspeaker is located on the inside of the cover. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector and the coaxial cable connector. And before removing the subboard, we have to peel off the heat removing coating, which taped on the subboard and the vibration motor. On the subboard, we have a charging port, microphone, and other elements on the back side. The vibration motor remains in the display frame. Ok, we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the connector to the display. We disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable. Now we can peel back the heat dissipating coating and detach the front camera. Then we detach the two rear cameras. It is better to hold the cameras so that they don't fall out and damage the lenses. And we can detach the motherboard. We find the right place to hook and leave the motherboard. So we take the motherboard out. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. The battery in our case is glued on sealant instead of the original adhesive. The battery has been previously separated or maybe changed. We started by using the thin plastic film carefully going over the edge, cutting off the adhesive. Then we can try to pry up the battery and see how firmly it holds. 
It is really important not to force it, otherwise we can damage the battery shell or the cable under the battery in the middle. We carefully leave the battery and use the plastic film to cut off the adhesive layer. Then hold the battery and slip the tool behind the display cable and cut off the sealing layer on the back side. The sealant is applied on evenly in small drops, so it is not difficult to cut it off. And again, we need to be extremely careful not to damage the cable. So we have cut off most of the adhesive and we can remove the battery. Now we can see how the sealant has been applied. And we can cut off the rest of the sealant holding the battery in place. So that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching. I will see you around or in our new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.